Hello Virgo, how are you? If you're new, how welcome my name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. <laughs> they are too highly guided. Everything has free one and everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that rules could be reversed between you and that person if that applies. And with this said, guys, uh, let's move forward. Um, a reminder that I always say I do not run a daycare. So just know that readings can be uh, reversed between you and whoever. This is entirely general, so take or leave whatever you want. So well i said uh, let's move forward uh, let's move uh, let's move let's see what the universe and my mother gave a little has for you virgo let's see we got the high priestess we, we got here the three of pentacles we got here the two of ones and we got here the three of swords let's see what else we have we got here the king of cups and overall energy we got here the nine of swords in the reverse and then we got the king of pentacles in the reverse oh my goodness i messed up my nails guys so sad but either way we got here like i said before the high priestess the three of pentacles right here so i do feel that um, you're not listening to, to your intuition and you're putting yourself in a third party situation i do feel that you're interested in someone or you are with somebody in a way to perform and this person has somebody already and they're not telling you and i do feel like they're actually using you as a sneaky link or as the other woman slash man um i do feel like they tend to ignore your text calls or messages uh purposely uh they don't want to contact you i do feel that you are in constant heartbreak because of this person in situation i do feel that you definitely deserve better hold on guys and that you deserve better i do feel like you that you are put in a in a situation that you don't deserve to be under uh, again you definitely deserve better you don't deserve to be in this situation I do feel like every time you think like oh I'm not talking to this person so they know how mad I am they don't care every time you don't talk to them or that you think that you are giving them the silent treatment and that's working in your favor no boo boo gaga they just don't care about you they're actually happy in their own life doing their own thing i do feel like you're gonna be way better with somebody else i do see the possibility of somebody new coming in your life but as of right now you don't see it because the only possibility you want Franco, is that person and that person excuse me is not the one for you they don't treat you with respect um you got to understand something you think that like you are going to receive a phone call or a text before valentine's day it's not going to happen um i do feel like somebody else is going to ask you out on a date i do see a new a newer energy this could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio that's going to ask you out but it's not that person look at this shirt guys i hate it i hate it stay anyways um <laughs> new energy is coming your way uh, a new energy a new individual that's gonna ask you out on a date i do feel like you're gonna take the invitation but if i for once right here you're gonna hesitate a tiny bit because you're like i don't know what if he or whoever uh, talks to me or calls me he won't go ahead and take the invitation don't hesitate boo boo gaga i do feel with the strength card right here i think that in reverse leo energy you um forgave i'm not forgave but forgot that you have this power that you have this energy that you are the full package you know and you forgot that and you continue to let this individual that you so want do whatever they want with you and that's just not okay and i don't get it because you're so beautiful inside and out and everybody should be thankful and lucky to have you and i do feel like you are not also respecting yourself a lot when you allow this individual to treat you that way i do feel like the newer energy is going to give you peace it's going to give you what you want um you guys uh he's gonna or she's gonna ask you out or the the restaurant you guys are gonna eat is gonna be seafood um uh, seafood restaurant if you're allergic to seafood then let them know before they invite you <laughs> but i do feel like the restaurant does 
surf other things but i do feel like it's either or near the beach maybe that's why i'm getting that or it could also be just a seafood restaurant as well um but i do feel like i said before there's other options for those who don't like seafood or can't have it or just maybe tell your person or this new energy hey i'm allergic to this uh with 801s right here i think that this person is very talkative uh out of maybe different than the other person because the other person always let you uh like talk and like ignore you i do feel like this new energy likes to talk you guys have a lot of things in common i do feel like things are like moving organically i do feel that um it's not going to be the first time you guys are going to see each other or the first time you guys are going to be talking to each other although this past person very good still in your energies because you continue to not want them to let go you don't want to let them go but this person from the past is not for you anymore um with the eight of cups right here in the reverse Pisces against Scorpio, I do feel like you are a little bit resilient in uh, not cooperating with the universe when it comes to welcoming change and letting go. So most likely as well, that could be why I saw the third party situation in the beginning. Maybe you're putting yourself in the situation as well. Um, I do feel that um, you need to be cautious because you may screw up an opportunity and chance with somebody who is literally into you who is caring who's loving and who definitely sees your value and wants to grow with you and you are being a little bit stubborn and not wanting to accept that or not wanting to see it because you're so convinced that the past person is your soulmate when they're not but the two of swords you're literally blinded and you don't want to accept that you're blindfolded by the idea of this past person with the queen of once in reverse leo aries sagittarius i feel like you are not seeing things clearly oh again the love is in reverse gemini energy he or she is not the one for you you're getting stuck with the four of pentacles in reverse towards Virgo capricorn with the wrong idea i do feel like you need to start accepting and letting go accept what it was thanks for the lessons and move on because once again the past person is not it okay what else is coming for virgo or what else can you tell me for virgo okay so i do feel like there's things that you're not over over um that you're not seeing or that you're overlooking i should say um okay so we got here the hermit we got here the eight of swords we got here the queen of pentacles and the ace of swords right here so every time you said oh the past person or whoever this person is has done so much for me it's hard for me to let go what has he or she done besides leaving you alone making you question your self-value letting you when you needed them the most uh whenever you are doing good doing better feeling better in and everything and you are maybe in a better uh state of mind that's when they decide to come and, and they go ahead and ruin it again so every time you need them to be there for you they are not there for you so what exactly are we missing here besides nothing with the world world virgo you are the king or queen of this world the world is yours you are so young regardless of how old you think you are old it's not a thing numbers are just that guys i'm about to be 30 and very soon and people be like oh my god dress your age babe dress your limitation like you think that age is a limitation that you live like that age is not a limitation to live laugh and love i know that's cringy as hell but actually it's kind of cute <laughs> stop but either way um age is just a number you can dress live life and enjoy everything however you want it you know, of course, if it's not illegal, okay? Keep in mind, 18 plus, okay? We are not encouraging 18 less. No. Go to jail, okay? No, no, boo-boo. 18 plus adult stuff, okay? So, age is just a limitation in the mind. You can dress and be whoever you want. So, don't come here with, I'm too old for that. I'm going to set you straight. You're not too old for nothing, boo-boo gaga. It's time to live. It's time to live. Here, ASMR. Mm -mm, okay, so, with the Queen of Swords right here, it's time to pretty much uh, reevaluate your life in life decisions. Uh, I do feel that you are putting a lot of things on hold or you have been putting a lot of things on hold for the wrong person. And the universe is giving you something good and you're still considering like this person's feelings and emotions over the fact that is your life. <laughs> I don't get that, but okay. Um, with the Emperor in the reverse aries energy uh if you think he is gonna or she's gonna be a factor or they're gonna care they're not they're gonna be just fine they're gonna be cool 
have a good life because first of all they have somebody else they have been having somebody else for a minute uh, another thing they have never wanted you anymore they have not wanted you anymore and that has been a long time they haven't been wanting to be with you in a long time so whenever you say hey i'm having somebody else they're gonna just okay that's it they're not gonna be hurt they're not gonna be oh my god let me get them back no that's not the energy i'm getting i'm getting like oh okay the three of cups right here it's time for you to walk away into your own celebration and happiness you have been postponing this for a long time because you're waiting on this person like i said before but as you feel like you are going to find your tribe and the people who deserve to be in your life you're heading towards marriage towards uh unions to us towards uh celebrations in any way shape or form with the magician right here you are on the energy of the magician which is air sign libra gemini aquarius so you can move your reality and back to back i do feel Feel like you have all the tools and all the things necessary to make your reality whatever you want it to be and this is you know uh you are looking good you're feeling good i feel uh good luck is on your side now and i do feel like you should actually take advantage and do things for your own good start doing things that makes you happy start doing things that you know you want to make i do feel like you have again postponed a lot and it's time for you to move forward um you have magic use it properly otherwise you're gonna be stuck in the same place you were yesterday with the six of swords libra gemini Aquarius, i do know that moving on and letting go of something or someone that you have been wanting for a long time is hard but just promise i'm promising you this that there is bigger and better out there i do feel like you're gonna be so thankful you did and you're going to regret not doing this sooner you're gonna regret it. You're gonna be regretting not letting go sooner. And I do feel that this is a big blessing in disguise, even though it doesn't feel like that. It does not feel like that. And I know it doesn't feel like that, but it is. Do not let your own thoughts betray you or fail you or stop you. You need to stop doing that because look at this. The universe wants to give you more than what you asked and more than what you think you're able to get. You just don't see that possible because you don't have faith in yourself. Also, you don't listen to your intuition very well. Can we clarify this? Thank you. But I'm going to tell you something. Girl, boy, stop chasing a grown-ass adult. Stop reminding them how valuable you are. Stop reminding them how much you love them. If they can't see it with everything you do and everything you have done, stop putting yourself in this position. You know how wrong this is that you are chasing a grown-ass adult? You are chasing a grown-ass adult and you feel bad whenever they don't see the value and how tired you are because babe they have never looked back towards you not even one bit you are the one chasing a grown-ass adult you need to stop that stop chasing this mf stop chasing him or her stop think about your inner child how would they feel that you are chasing to be loved. You're chasing to be careful. You're chasing somebody to see your value. Stop being afraid of being loved. Stop being afraid of having exactly what you want. Don't be the reason why you're not happy. It's time for you to make your heart dance. It's time for you to open your heart to opportunity. I know it's scary at times, but it's time for you to fulfill your own emotions with the right person. And I do understand this, but I sometimes you got to understand this. Sometimes the one we love doesn't love us back. And the one that we may not love is the one that loves us with all our heart. And I'm not here telling you, hey, don't 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 be happy, but you will not be happy with the one you want either because the one you want don't want you. Give yourself an opportunity to be dined and wined by this new energy. Let's see how it goes. But do it right. Do it correctly. I'm telling you, 
all the questions in your head I'm answering before you even give me a chance to answer. I'm reading your energies perfectly and I know that. You don't want to agree with me. It doesn't matter. You know I'm right. That's why you're angry at me. You need to stop chasing this grown ass adult. Four of swords in reverse. It's time for you to heal. You're chasing an idea. You're chasing a memory. You're chasing what it used to be. You're chasing a ideal life that you or an ideal persona that no longer exists in the person you're chasing. The new energy is where it's at. This past energy gone. Either way, if you go back with this past person, you're not going to have the happy family because they don't want you. If you let this person go, you're not gonna have you're not gonna have the happy family. So what are you gonna do? Chasing who don't want you and letting go who is worthy of your time? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Don't complain about being alone. Ten of swords. Don't complain about not finding the one. Because every time you're giving the one you continue to choose the one that's not. Final message for Virgo, please, and thank you. You know what they're telling me here? They're telling me, use your brains more. You're very smart, Virgo. Use your brains more. They want you to know, you need to use your brains more. Stop idol idolizing this person. Stop idolizing this person. Stop breaking your back, making excuses for this person. He's a he or she's a grown adult. They don't need to be excused by you. They can actually give you the reasons. They choose not to. And they don't care to do so. You know what I'm saying? You need to stop excusing the unexcusable. You need to stop doing that, Bubu Gaga. You're making me upset because you know exactly what you deserve <coughs> that you gave this MF this opportunity. But go, go with the other videos with the very good one. It tells you that he or she loves you. Go. Live in that lie to see how far that goes, to see how far you go with that. People don't like reality. People like fake love and light. And I'm not giving you that. Mother Lilith will never let me do that. So. There's something new for you. A 10,000%. But the problem here is you. It's not always the other person. You need to let go. You need to move on. Stop carrying unnecessary burdens. You're putting in your life unnecessary burdens. Once you let go, you're able to manifest everything you want to reality. But until then, until you continue to consider moving on, not an option, your life is going to feel upside down. <coughs> you're going to continue to chase the wrong person, being disrespected, because you are in love with an idea that no longer exists. And continue to ask yourself, when is your time to be happy? Because you continue to ignore your intuition. Because you continue to give your intention and attention to somebody who is just here to date, hook up you. And has no intention to grow with you. You don't want to let go. So you're going to continue in this energy because you don't want to welcome this. That's called change. So at the end of the day. It's on you what you want to do with your life. I respect it. And my purpose is to give you the real tea. If you want a personal reading to make sure this is for you. Hey, go to the description box below and book a reading with me. But if not, it's fine. Let's see here what is extra info here. <laughs> Look, cycles. And it says, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Mm -hmm. Love spell. You've been bewitched. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Move on. Literally, move on, it says. Move on. Some, someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. 
move on again someone is unavailable a waste of time it's over give it time everything is in divine timing let things flow i mean flow i can say floor distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant intimacy sexual chemistry feminizing narcissist <laughs> someone is too full of themselves the person that you like open your heart it will be it'll help you to attract more love <laughs> someone else it says someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage here like i said somebody else challenges make a decision work on inner healing two more please literally literally there you go no it's not the right time let go let go it says make room for the new beginning on its way to you now we got the new beginning water sign cancer scorpio pisces we got vacation here it says some of you you will be traveling soon and last one okay <sighs> intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So, boo boo gaga. If you don't get this and has been a straight forward on you, Google. Well, let's see right here. Where is the possible initials? I want to give you initials. This could be the, the past person or the new person. Uh, this could be the first, last minute, or even a nickname. Let's see. KS and KFC, TS and Tyler, CS and Cat, US and Umbrella, Z as and Zane, O as and Oscar, Q as and Kessel, F as and Frank, D as and Diego, V as and Boy, A as and Apple, N as and Nina, and H as and Hamburger. Those are the possible initials of these people here. To finalize the reading, I want to give you a message from the Spirit to Animal deck. So. Let's see. Oh, okay. We got four. Okay, five. So it says links, keeper of secrets. And it says, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Bison, abundance. And it says, uh, sacred buffalo, clock me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthy matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership uh, role and take action. You know where you... You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. And Hummingbird, Miracles, and it says, You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy source your, your shiny wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. So this is the final reading for you or final message for you today, Virgo. Thank you so much for the love and support. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to win a chance of a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel because every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. I'm still waiting on that. So once that happens, I'm going to make a video. Also, every month, I'm going to choose one or two lucky subscribers for i can read the readings on a youtube short so if you want to be considered make sure to subscribe also uh, most likely i show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i always tell you back i also have a tiktok that i do small readings over there um i have a smoke group on facebook i have an upcoming project of my patreon i'm yet to launch it once i launch my patreon i'm going to be offering to reading classes as well as uncensored readings and other things i also offer personal readings so if you want to get a personal reading with me make sure to get into the link always on the description box below and it'll actually once you click on it it'll take you to my website also if it's easy you can actually book directly on the book now button on my bio um 
with this said i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and i never message anybody through any of my social medias for readings or so so if that were to happen it's not my account please please feel free to report and block and as well i do not take requests through messages or anything for personal readings with this said guys thank you so very much for the love and support you deserve better virgo do not even doubt it i hope you guys have an amazing day and happy valentine's day in advance so Bye. <laughs>